Hello everyone. So in today's video, we'll discuss about the primary key constraint in Oracle SQL. So let's go to my SQL developer. Now, what is a constraint in SQL? So constraint is basically some set of rules that are applied to a particular column or some set of columns of a table. Okay. Uh, so constraints can be a primary key, foreign key, then unique. So these are the some example of constraints. Okay. So today we'll see what is a primary key constraint. So primary key is a constraint which will restrict you to insert a duplicate or null values into any column or some of the columns in any table. So that means uh, if you if you create a primary key constraint uh, for for a particular column of your table, then uh, it will only allow the unique and not null values. Okay. Now primary key constraint can be created for some particular column or some combination of columns. So let's see how we can create a primary key. So for that, I will first create a table. So create table. I'll create a table called employees. And in that table, I will have the first column employee ID that will be a number data type. And for that employee ID column, I'll create uh, the primary key. So this is the syntax for creating the primary key of any particular column. So employee ID will be your primary key. So to mention it will be a constraint and this PK EMP ID is the is the name that I am giving for this constraint and it will be a primary key constraint. So that's why I'm mentioning it as a primary key. Then define some more columns like higher date is one of the column and salary is another column. So now create the table. You can see table employees created now. Okay. Now let's try to insert some data into the table. So insert into employees values. My first field is employee ID that will be 100. Next field is date that will I insert some date like 24th March 2023. The next field is a salary. For that, I will insert some salary like 20,000. So, something is wrong. Okay, the table name is employee. You can see one row inserted. Okay, if you if you check the values in the table so select star from employees you can see this is my uh, first row okay now uh, as i told you that uh, employee id is a, is a primary key field okay that means it will not allow the duplicate values so let's try to insert the duplicate values for this employee id so i'm let's change the date so let's change the date to 25th march and salary to 25,000. But the employee ID, I am giving the same value that is duplicated value, duplicate values as 100. So let's try to insert that. So when you're trying to insert that, you are getting the error is like unique constraint violated. That means you cannot insert the duplicate values uh, for the column where you have mentioned is it as a primary key column okay so you have to insert some unique values okay so let's try the unique values like 101 let's try it 
so you can see one row inserted that means you can insert the uh, unique value but not the duplicate values okay let's try with null values so let's try to insert some null values for your employee id column again you, you are getting the error like you cannot insert null values okay so that means whenever you have some primary key column in your table so in that column you cannot insert null values as well as duplicate values okay so uh, now primary key can be created uh, for a particular column or some combination of column okay uh, so uh, how to create the primary key for some combination of column i'll tell you that for uh, so before that just drop the table that i have created so drop the table employee then i will recreate the table so table is dropped okay now uh, now i i want to create uh, the primary key for a multiple column so I, suppose i want to create the primary key for employee id as as well as hired date so for these two columns i want to create the primary key so for that you have to use the table level constraint so what is table level constraint so table level constraint is that you have to mention the constraint after defining all the columns at the end that will be your table level constraint so here so after mentioning all the after mentioning all the field like employee id hired date salary then you you are mentioning the constant okay and so this is called table level constant and the the constant that we have described uh, we we have defined before like this this is called column level constant so column level constant is is defined after uh, defining each column but the table level cursor is defined after defining all the columns okay uh, now as we are we are going to define we are we are going to declaring the constraint for multiple columns like i want to define i want to declare the constraint primary key constraint for employee id and hired date so you have to use the table level constraint so first so after declaring this employee id hired date and salary the constant will be constant pk underscore empid so this is the name i'm using you can use any name uh, primary key and in the bracket you have to mention uh, for which column you are creating the constant suppose i want to create the constant for emp id as well as hired date okay so uh, so that means we are, we are going to create the constant for this uh, two columns so that means the combination of employee id and hired date must be unique and not null okay so this so let's see let's create the table so you can see table employee created uh, let's take the data so right now no data is available in the table so let's in let's try to insert some data so let's try to insert this data so one row inserted let's check the table so you can see employee 100 hired date salary okay so uh, now now uh, let's use the employee uh, id as 100 but the hired date is 24th march use that But you can see still i am able to insert the row why i'm telling you i'll tell you so if, if you see the see that data like you can see employee id is now duplicate values is there for employee id okay but higher data is different so how how this is uh, happening now how, how how this is taking the duplicate employee ID? because uh, see now the employee id is not our primary key now the primary key is the combination of employee ID and hired date okay so that means this combination must be unique and if you notice for employee id if you notice uh, that uh, for the first row and second row 
the combination that is the combination of employee and hundred is unique because for, for the first row the employee is hundred higher date is 25th march for the second row, employee is hundred but the higher date is 24th march that is the the both the, the the combination of these two columns are unique for these two rows that is why it is allowing okay okay but if if you are trying to insert the same values for the employee id and higher date let's try to insert that so now we are getting unique constant violation error okay so that is how you can use the primary key for multiple columns okay but let's try to insert null values if you try to insert null values can you do that let's try it okay you cannot insert null values so you cannot insert null values for any particular column or for the combination of column for which you have defined the primary key okay so that is how you can work with primary key okay now if, if you want to uh, uh, drop this primary key or if you want to delete this primary key from this column what you need to do you need to then use the alter table script so by using the alter table script you can drop or delete the primary key from your table so what is the syntax for that so the syntax is alter table uh, table name that is employee a uh, drop constraint drop constraint then constraint name what is the constraint name constraint name is a uh, uh, pk emp underscore id so you can see table employee altered that means you have now dropped your primary key constraint okay. so now let's try to insert the same values 124th march so now we can insert uh, because we have delete our primary key from the table okay now we can see uh, the combination is uh, the duplicate values is there for the combination of employee and higher date but it is allowing because we have we have dropped our uh, constraint from the table okay again if you want to add the constraint again you can use uh, you can do that using the alter table so alter table employee you have to write add constraint your constraint name that is pk underscore emp id whatever the name you want to give you can give that it will be a primary key and suppose i want to declare the primary key for emp id okay so I have to mention that uh so when you are you are trying to add the primary key when you are trying to create the primary key you are getting the error uh, like attempted to validate a primary key with duplicate value so as you have duplicate values in your table you cannot create the primary key okay so what you need to do you you need to first delete the duplicate values so i'll simply truncate the table i'll tr simply truncate the table to so delete to delete all the data the so table truncated now if you if you see the table no data is there okay now now try to create the primary key again you can see now table employee altered now try to insert the data so first row inserted uh, change the higher date but with the same employee id let's check it so it you are uh, getting the unique constant values and error so that means primary key we have again created the primary key for the employee id column okay if we try to insert the null values cannot insert null values okay so that is how we can delete the uh, primary key as well as you can again recreate the primary key using the alter table script okay and if you want to see the primary key the available primary key for your table what you need to do you need to go to your connection so this is my connection dev and if you refresh it you can see employee table is there go to the employee table you can find a constant tab is there in the constant tab you will find your primary key so see this is the constant name 
pk underscore emp id this is the constant of primary key status you can see status is enabled okay so this is all about primary key thank you guys